Hello YouTube, uh, here we are making another uh, video. This time it's about putting together a uh, LG Chem. They're, they're cells from an LG Chem pack, which is a battery storage system for solar. But um, you can buy these cells uh, that are lithium ion. So this is the battery that is a little bit dangerous. So you, you want to be careful when you're making these that you have multiple uh, redundant systems for c cutting off the charging. Because uh, if you overcharge these repeatedly, they can catch on fire. These are dangerous batteries. So, uh, But they're really, really small and light and cheap uh, comparatively to other lithium technologies. These packs are uh, 100... There are 120 amp hours at 3.7 volts. And this is literally um, the size of them right here. They're, they're pretty, pretty small. That's seven of them right there, uh, which is, you can see the terminals are right here. And they're, um, they're cut out of the pack with just a, basically a, um, like a like a sawzall or something this is my this, this is how i'm making my my um, connectors i'll show you that in a second those are just about done but you can see these are these are cut right there those are taped off these this is where i'm connecting the cells this is the positive so this is seven cells, and you need seven of these to make a 24-volt battery. So it's about 350 bucks. And then um, over here, we should turn this around so it's in the light, is the side that uh, I'm starting on. So these, this is where you hook your main positive over here. And then on this side... Um, I'm going to tie these together so that makes this pack right here um, a series connection. So this is, that's negative, this is positive. And these, you have to pinch them together and that's why I took the one inch copper pipe and I made these, which I need to clean up still. But they're, they're going to go in between these right there, just like that. And then I'm going to put a hole here and a hole here and screw those together so that becomes like a bus bar between the two and that is going to be connected with these little screws over here stainless steel and then little lock washers and washers there and these screws these brass screws are for the main uh, terminal here and the little bolts and i have some little brass washers there too for those um, and then this is the this was hard to find. Uh, I'll have to put this. This is a 60 amp DC to DC converter. So, and you can see you can put all different sizes of wires on there as long as you have your crimper and everything. But it's a 24 volt in and 12, I think 12.5 volts out. There's the manufacturer. I think I got this. I think I got it on eBay, but I'll, I could, I could link it. Um, and so this is what you what you do basically. So with these things too, if you're just wondering how did this how did I make this out of this? Um, first you cut it with a pipe cutter and then you then uh, I just grab it with the um, let me set this down. Grab it with the vice grip right here and then. I just literally spark up the torch. And, uh, that's a burning guy. And, uh, and then you just heat, heat it up. And then you just pound it out. It's actually really simple. You know, you just pound it. The little, the little grip on that, on this uh, vice grip, is about the right the right size for this. So I'm going to set this on the metal, my little metal workbench, which is underneath the camera right now. But um, 
this is about the right size for that and you just and then you know copper's pretty soft so you can just like manipulate it yourself and then uh, once you get it down to almost a square you just i was just kind of pounding it out it's actually really simple to make these and then i'll just drill them with a you know and put two holes in them and clamp those bus bars together and then you have a bag